A mysterious respiratory illness is affecting dogs in several states across the country. But has the illness reached the Lone Star State? And if it has reached Texas, how will it impact your dog? Dr. Lori Teller, a clinical professor at Texas A&M Veterinary School, says it's hard to tell if the illness is actually here. And that's because respiratory illnesses are not reportable in dogs in the state. She says the infection can be tracked if owners are willing to have their dogs tested. The illness is similar to other respiratory infections. Teller says symptoms include coughing, sneezing, runny nose, fever, watery eyes, and dogs might not play as their usual selves. And many may be worried about boarding their dogs as they head out for the holidays. Teller says while some cases are severe, it is rare that the illness could lead to anything more, and the majority of dogs do recover. And the good news is there are things to do to prevent it. So our recommendations are to be cautious but not freak out. So vaccinate your, your dogs against the respiratory illnesses that, that we can protect against. Those vaccines include Bordetella, Parainfluenza, and Canine Influenza. Dr. Teller adds if an owner is boarding their dog or taking them to daycare, they should ask the facility what it's doing to protect the dogs. How are they preventing the spread and what to do if an animal does have respiratory illness? Our Taylor Gertman has more advice from Dr. Teller under this story at KXAN.com.